Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review will be Captive State. Let's get into it. So, uh, upon seeing the trailers for this film, I didn't know what to think of it. But I thought I would give it a shot. It's kind of like a um, fell on a week that was kind of down for movies. So I said, let me give it a shot. Perfect time. So the movie starts off, jumps right into the movie. So this movie is starring John Goodman. He plays uh, William um, Mullet or something like that where he's part of agency, but it doesn't start off with him. It starts off with the new actor, Ashton Saunders. His character is Gabriel Drummond. He got a brother named Rafe Drummond. Now it starts off with those two as kids in the car with their parents. But right now, how start, the movie starts off, it just shows the parents driving and the whole town that they're in is in a panic. There are roads blocked off. The dad is a detective. He tried to go down the road and he was stopped from not being able to go down the road. And then they tried to retrieve the dad. The dad drove off. Then they broke through these barricades. And when they broke through the barricades, uh, they could see at the end of the tunnel, it was these things. And so, before they know it, something shot through the car, through the um, front windshield, and killed the parents, and the kids was in the back. So that's when you hear, like on the previews, you, you hear that statement where they killed my parents, ten, they, they you know came over 10 years ago, and then you know we trying to fight back. You hear that all through the trailer. So that's how the, the movie starts off. So when you thinking it, it's some takeover, it's aliens took over the planet. So they don't really promote that in um, the trailers too much, but the aliens have taken over the planet. So if you've seen uh, uh, Cloverfield, where the, um, the thing, the whole movie, this thing is just tearing up the city and all that, and it's like shot through first, first person view. Then you see the other Cloverfield where John Goodman is in the bunker with the the girl and the other person, the whole movie, and then he kind of go crazy and stuff like that. So I think, you know, they're spinning off of this uh, movie. They're spinning off of that because now the aliens have are actually on Earth taking over. And what the aliens have done, so when it fast forwards 10 years later or 9 years later, what the aliens have done is... They have talked to the government, basically saying, we're going to overtake your government and y'all will work for us and we'll teach y'all how to run y'all planet. And of course, there's always going to be resistors that is going to resist. So, but the government is on board. So the government is basically working against the people, telling the people y'all need to conform or pretty much you're gonna be dead or you know, you're gonna be like on a rebel, like in a militia type group. So they implanted these uh, slugs type worm trackers inside of humans to track them their every whereabouts. So their whole thing is we're gonna make the planet better uh, the government showed them how to use our um, natural resources and crime is down because you can always track somebody and everything is supposed to be peaceful, but of course people are against that. You're not giving people free will. So this is the whole world, but it's only target. You're only, the whole world is going through the same thing, but it only shows it only shows the view from the area, which is Chicago, uh, oh, a part of the Chicago that um, is being the scene of everything. So 
John Goodman, he was a detective. He was the friend of the detective in the that you see in the beginning of the movie, where the kids were, when their parents died, they left the kids alive. So 10 years later, the oldest, he tried to start a militia and they assumed he got killed trying to do that. So the, the son, the younger one, his name is Gabriel. He's working at a job. He got the implant inside of him and the commissioner, which is John Goodman, he checks up on him from time to time, trying to you know keep him out of trouble and stuff like that, telling him he's gonna have to choose a side and he's on for a greater purpose. This movie, without telling you step by step, every little thing that's happened, because it, I mean, I've seen the trailers, but I, I don't hear nobody talking about it. I was actually, crazy no, I was the only person in the theater so Eric and there's nobody checking for this movie but this movie was was done correctly it was it kept me intrigued the whole time on what was going on and you got to pay attention so you because there's so many twists and turns you don't know how everything is going you got to pay attention because it's twist all the way up to the end is twist Good, it was a good movie. Good movie. I think uh, would it would have been it would have been better if they picked the movie on Netflix. Cause I started thinking the movie if they did like they could have really did if they got a Netflix deal, they could have did a season one of this. Like this could have been a series. Captive State. They could have made this. It got about ten episodes out of it. Put it on um on Netflix it had been a smash it had been a smash because don't nobody know about it or giving it a chance I don't know how well it's going to do in the box office see people like me that watch all types of movies is going to go see it and then notice oh this is a good movie so hopefully you, you get this review share it subscribe and like if you're not already part of so you get it out there that it's, it's a good movie but it, it would have served it just if it was a Netflix series. But they could have gave more background leading up to everything. And they could have got more in detail about a lot of different things. Because it's a movie, a lot of it was rushed. That's why it starts off. It jumps right into everything. And I guess they're trying to say, in a sense, like, reason why they could jump. they showing you different parts of, like, the Cloverfield and stuff like that. So I guess they're saying we don't have to. Because all that, all that, this movie ties in with the Cloverfield movies and all that type of stuff. So I guess they're saying this is like the next chapter of that whole saga right there. So it's, it, it's, it uh, ties into everything. So I guess they might feel we don't need to do a series because we've been doing a series. So maybe that's, the, but it, to me, you could have started a, a series on Netflix and this, the season one would have been a smash. But nevertheless, the movie was good. The whole thing is that the militia is trying to rise up and is showing their their thing was if you light a match it can start a war basically show the people that if you fight back we could win this thing at least fight back that'll make the enemy think twice and that's true you know the people gotta rise up you know you get sick and tired people want freedom they don't want to be uh, basically under dictatorship and stuff like that where they can't be free to do what they want to do when they want to do it and so that's what this movie is speaking to how uh, the rebels rose up they use their own network and team to infiltrate get inside and damage and hurt the legislation people that was dealing with the aliens and so when uh, it's all types of twists. It sh it, even when you think that it's over, it, it, it was, it failed, it then comes back again. Bam, there, oh, wow, I didn't see that one coming. So it is a good film. I don't wanna spoil it too much for you. Uh, I gave you enough, you know, 
I gave you enough of the plot without giving you the back to back to back of everything, little thing that happens. It is a good movie. There's not really a post credit scene, so you don't gotta worry about that. Give it a shot, give it a try, you won't be disappointed, but it would have been better suited. More people would get to watch it. I don't know if how much people go on, unless it's one of those movies that catch on after the fact. <coughs> and people catch on, but once it gets, if it don't do well in the box office and the movie theaters, once it gets to DVD and that way, and when it's launched on Netflix and all those uh, streaming platforms, people going to pick it up. And then people going to be like, oh, stuff, that was a good movie. You know, so it would have been better suited if it was either if it was a Netflix original film like that Cloverfield Paradox. That was bogus. I didn't like that. But if they had picked this one on there, people, a lot of people would be telling people, yo, go watch it. Yo, that's a good movie. Watch that. You know, so. Nevertheless, uh, out of my four-star rating system, I'm going to give this a three out of four stars. Good film. Watch it. Subscribe and like. Help build the channel. Share the video. Till next time.